hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to show and discuss how we automate the or uh, how we validate the graphql apis by using the postman okay so before moving to the graphql uh, how we use uh, the postman to handle uh, the to validate the graphql uh, responses let's first understand what is the uh, graphql so graphql is a, an open source server side technology that was developed by the facebook to optimize restful api calls it is an execution engine and data query language right here we are passing some queries based on the queries it will execute and get the response restful api restful apis follow a clear and well structured resources oriented approach right uh, however when the data gets more complex the routes get longer this is in restful api sometimes it is not possible to to fetch the data with a single request right this is where graphql comes comes in handy graphql structure in the form of a graph with its powerful query syntax of traversing retrieving and modifying the data okay so when i will go with the uh, some examples there you will see uh, in more details when i go with some examples there you will see in the more details how the graphql is different from the uh, restful apis so here we have some simple uh, graphql apis and which is uh, documented under the apollo graph sql graphql okay so there is suppose that i'm going to uh, hit the use the country's api so if i click on the try it out it will open the new studio url okay apollo graphql dot com and here you can see this is the uh, endpoint url where we need to send the uh, request along with the some queries so queries basically looks like this okay so let's copy this query and run here okay you can see uh, this is open and if i send the uh, request so we will get the detail of br the country code is br brazil and what information we need we need to send the request along a uh, query along with this uh, that like here we need the uh, country name native capital emoji currency language code and name right so the same information we are getting like suppose that we need only the name of the country right so in that case let's let's remove this okay and send the request now we are getting the specific request uh, in the specific response only the country name right so this is very useful when we are using the rest api there we are not getting such features right but in the graphql we can get the data what we needed like sometimes suppose that we need only the name so in that case other information don't need so we can just pass the name only we will get the name that loves like suppose that now we need uh, only the uh, this uh, name country name currency suppose that and capital no emoji no native okay so let's send you can see getting the response only for country name capital and currency these three information we are getting there are some more filters we can apply in the query what information we need right so so this is the graphql where we can send the query based on the query we will get the data from the server right in separate video i will explain in more details about the graphql and how this is different between the rest apis okay so in this tutorial i am going to explain how we use the postman to handle this graphql apis click on postman yeah postman is open okay so like here i am going to show and create the some send some graphql request by using the uh, postman okay how we create the request for the graphql 
so go to the new on the top there is a button new button click on this and you will get option which type of apis we are going to use like we are going to graphql so i will select the graphql okay next we need to use the url so what is the url so this is the my url copy this and paste here give the name of the uh, request name so get country info okay so now uh, we need to create a graphql uh, collection where we can save this request so let's click on the new and then create here collection graphql1 this is my collection name create once created this is selected also click on save button and you will see in the graphql1 get country info is created you can see here automatically all the queries information fetched and available in the postman this side left side in this panel right side panel there is an editor we can add here the queries right so what is the query we are going to pass basically this is the query so i can use this and paste right query is ready this is related to country so country is selected only right so let's click and send the information you can see similar details we are getting in the getting in the form of json response code is 200 okay and uh, if we want to add the, some test so under the script folder we can add the test which will helps to verify the response like query is successful so there are snippet code we can use it will verify if we are getting response 200 similar type if we want to check the specific header if we want to check the response time a response json schema right so there are multiple uh, snippet code we can use and we can validate the values as well as we can verify the response values so as of now i added only one snippet code which will helps to verify the uh, request we receive a successful response response code 200 here you can see this is the coming after response so this code will execute after we getting the response similar type we have a before query so click on this uh, we can write some uh, query some uh, javascript code which we need to run before the send the request okay so here we can add like we are going to uh, in the normal http request right so there we can say get some pre request script as well as some test so in the test what code we are writing this will run after receiving the response similar type what code we are writing here it will execute before the request sent okay so here in the graphql here we have a script section where we have before query and after response right if we need the response right like we have some uh, we need only the capital currency as well as the name of the country based on the country code what we are passing okay so let's see here we need only the name not the code so these query i sent i'm going to send right and you will see the response like this okay let's create another uh, api request with different set of data so here if i go you will see add request option we are getting graphql gr grpc babe socket socket io three four options we are getting here let's create another graphql request copy the url because endpoint url is same for each request paste here automatically you can see it's loaded all the queries like i am going to select the uh, continent with id okay pass here the id like i am going to pass arg okay so here we are getting the code and name if any other information we need we can provide here like i i'm passing here country's capital name okay currency i can select it will go here any other information like in the country continent or country's information we need right we can pass here capital so capital query uh, in the query we can see cap current, current uh, 
country's capital is added language we need just select the language what we need in language like language we are getting the name so what in permission we need we can pass here select here let's execute the query and you will see we are getting the same data what we are passed in the query continental countries language you can see all the inf information we are getting okay so if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification and also if you have any query leave a comment okay i will get back to you thanks for watching the video